So since I'm doing draft busts this week, and I've already covered Alexander Degg in a previous video, I figured I'd show you some stuff from my Alexander Degg collection. So first up we have this 91-92 seventh inning sketch, Alex Degg when he was on the Victoriaville Tigers. Love this card, it's a classic. Next up is this 93-94 Silver Skates Upper Deck Alexander Degg. One of those hard to find pulls from that year of Upper Deck. I love this card, absolutely great. Next up is the same year of Upper Deck, but this is a program of excellence Alexander Degg. Another hard to find one, great card, love it, still looks great today. This next one's a must-have for any Degg collector. This would be the 93-94 Pinnacle Score promo card, where you see the score promo on the front and the Pinnacle promo on the back. Definitely harder to track down, but worth it. Lastly, we have this 93-94 Classic Acetate Alex Degg, and this one's autographed, a rare find, but definitely a good one. Next is this Fleer Metal Universe Alex Dagg. This one's also autographed. A great looking card. I also love the new Metal Universe that came out this year. Those are great. Uh, this one is a 96-97 Donross International. This is a nice looking acetate card of Alex Dagg. Definitely a good design. Here's a good one. Artist Proof. Numbered 10 of 68 with uh, Dagg's date debuting for the New York Rangers. Next up is one of my favorites. This is a one-of-one one printing plate of Alexander Degg from a Pacific product. I believe it was Pacific Calder. And finally, uh, we have a UD Exclusives Canadian Edition, number 29 out of 50, of the 2004-2005 Upper Deck. Next up, if you saw my custom patch cards video a while back, you'll remember these. Absolutely the best best thing I've ever spent my money on. This beautiful collection numbered out of six. Uh, great job by Custom Patch Cards. Can't say how much. I genuinely love these cards. I love the way they look. I love that they just look like I pulled them out of a pack and, and collected the entire set. They're just great cards, great quality. I just can't believe that I own them. I have also come into possession of my collection two autograph pucks from Alex Degg. The one on the left Autographed is not so great. It's a little scribbled on there, not the best, but the one on the left, definitely a nice, clean, nicely signed auto. After many, many years of searching, I actually came across this uh, signed stick on eBay. There's a few out there. A lot are way overpriced for an Alex Dagg stick, but there's a nice, clean auto on the blade with his number, 91. Definitely one of my favorite jerseys in my collection is this 09 Spangler Cup Team Canada Dag jersey. I love the advertising on these jerseys, it's just done so cleanly. Next up is this HC Davos Swiss Dag jersey. It is just gorgeous. Love the color, the blue, the yellow, the white, and once again, the advertising's great. Finally, there's this Manchester Monarchs AHL Alex Dag jersey. This jersey looks phenomenal. Just the patches on it, the color scheme, everything about this jersey is fantastic. And the reason I decided to make this video are these, these 2021 Pro Set Memories Alexander Degg autograph cards from Leaf. These are wonderful, wonderful cards. I love the old school Pro Set design on them. Leaf did a great job with these. As you can see, they're numbered to 25, most of them. Just the old school design. I collected Pro Set as a kid. This was like the greatest era of junk wax that you could ever hope for. Nice, really clean, on card autos. The only gripe is because they don't have an NHL license, they can't show the team logos, but I don't really care about that when the cards look so good. This one's my favorite of the old school Pro Set, and this one's out of 10, so you see it's a 3 out of 10 on card auto. What more can you ask for? So there you have it. That's my Alex Degg collection. Definitely not the whole collection, but those are my favorites, the highlights, the ones that I treasure the most. Uh, but if you have a favorite player that you PC, let me know in the comments. 
post up some pictures. Maybe we'll uh, do a video and show off some collections and some man caves. And who knows, this might become a regular series where we highlight some man caves and some awesome collections of subscribers. It's all inside my game. Where we're supposed to play. We throw a little.